Yeah, so my grandfather, my mother's father, uh, Edward Carl, that's who I'm named after, Dutch Sterneman, uh, grew up in Springfield, Illinois, and uh, back in those days, uh, he started playing high school football and was very, very good at it and uh, went to U of I playing football and met a guy named George Hallis. And to make a very long story short, uh, back in those days, professional football was much like professional wrestling now. It was just a nasty, dirty, you know, uh, probably fixed, you know, games. And uh, so my grandfather and George Hallis, they uh, formed a team and uh, called the uh, Decatur Staley's. Uh, Mr. Staley hired them to get the group together. They played the Arcola. There's a whole long story with that I can I can talk about. But uh, they started the very first paid professional game. Uh, and uh, is long, it like, is it like 1919 or was it? I believe I had to it's 1919 somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, because I've heard the story from the Hallis, the Hallis, or you know from the McCaskey family. But get going. So anyhow, uh, they moved the team eventually to Chicago, and my father, my grandfather was a uh, the halfback. He was a player coach along with Hallis, and uh, th- my father ended up uh, they ended up signing Red Grange to the very first contract. Gave him a, there's a whole crazy wonderful story about that, and roughly they won the championship in uh, boy 1929. And roughly 1933, I believe it was. My grandmother didn't like the football business because it was just so rough and tumbled and it was just a wild, <laughs> wild west back then. And uh, they had four kids and my grandmother said, hey, you know what, Dutch, you got to get out of this thing. So you should uh, tell Hallis you want to sell your 50% share. So um, oh, story wait, goes... Can you tell me, was this after they bought Staley out or no? It was Staley, well, was, it was there. Staley, Staley just started to pay uh, my grandfather and Hallis to have a bunch of guys from U of I and yep. uh, to, the, to play the dedicated to Arcola, I forget what they're called, Arcola something or other. And that was the very first professional game. But then they moved the team. Staley just put them together. But then mm-hmm. my grandfather and Hallis moved to Chicago and there was the original teams. But Staley, Staley got bought out at one point too, I know. Um, I, uh, I forget how the story went, but okay. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that so was. So anyway, 33 or so? Yeah, so 33, my, my grandmother uh, said, you know, Dutch, you got to get out of this football thing. So, my grandfather went to Hallis and says, hey, we, w- let's move this partnership along. I'll buy you out or you buy me out. The long story short, I believe the number was uh, $50,000 that my, uh, back in those days, 1930-something, 1932 was a lot of money. Sure. So Hallis had to pay my, my grandfather $50,000 for half the share of the bears. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they remained friends, and my, my grandfather would still help coach, and he would see kids playing on the side of the road playing football. He'd go and just go, hey, you got to block this way and do this kind of stuff. So he remained a football fan his whole life. So so as, as we both know, that's pretty modest, but, you know, this is the start of the NFL. It yeah. seemed like you just started a team. This is the beginning of the NFL, the founders of the NFL, with a, a few, some other U of I guys, I think, at, at the time. Uh, the guy that started the Cleveland Browns, and that's why their colors, uh, or, you know, a couple other teams. Cleveland Browns, who else was there back then? Do you remember? Packers were there. Packers. Um, um, Giants, maybe? I think it was the Giants, yeah. Um, I don't, There's I a few just, teams that aren't there anymore. Just a hand, yeah, yeah, but just a handful of teams initially, right? Yes, and my grandfather is the only founder, player, coach of an NFL franchise that is not in the Hall of Fame. So, uh, a lot of people don't know it. He was very humble and quiet, and Hallis is more the uh, the, uh, the spokesperson, mm-hmm. and uh, so that's why they kind of, you know. So it'd be like you and I, me the, the, the big <laughs> mouth, right? And you, the humble guy, right? You, I might get more attention than you. Yeah. See, it? you got you just gotta get out there, Ed, and you know, brag about yourself a little more. Ed, that's an amazing story. Isn't that awesome? Is